going to find the measure of a missing side using the tangent. Okay, so first we need to find the given values here. Okay, so we're given the adjacent side. I know it's the adjacent side because it's next to the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse. Okay, and remember the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite the right angle, and it's always the longest side when you have a right triangle. All right. We're also given the angle here, which is 39 degrees, and then we're given the opposite side. All right, it's opposite of the angle. Okay, now that we have these values, we need to substitute them into the tangent ratio. And recall that tangent of theta, or our angle, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay, so I substituted here 39 degrees. This is in degrees, so make sure when you use your calculator you enter it in degrees. Okay, and then this 2 and 9 tenths here. And this is the side we're looking for, this x. So it's the opposite side. Now we simply solve. Okay, so the first thing I did is multiply both sides by 2 and 9 tenths to get rid of it on this side. And I have the 2 and 9 tenths over here. Okay, then I plugged in the tangent of 39 degrees into my calculator and I got approximately 8,097 ten thousandths. Okay. And then you multiply. Okay. And you get this long decimal. But remember, the question is saying to the nearest tenth. So that's why I had to stop here. So this rounds to 2.3 or 2 and 3 tenths. Okay, and that's it. That completes our problem.